Okay, that's enough fill in. Welcome. Your audience. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thanks to the organizers. Uh, uh, my name is Christian Schimper. I'm representing ActiCell Technology Solutions. We are a company based in Austria, Europe. Uh, what we are doing is uh, cellulose chemistry research and uh, we, transfer the, we transfer the latest findings of cellulose uh, research into the denim industry. So what I'm presenting to you now is an um, environmental friendly uh, way to bleach uh, the genes. Why are we doing that? This photo is uh, representative for uh, the challenges uh, of the industry at the moment. That's what you find uh, when you type in gene bleaching. Uh, sound blasting uh, is an issue. All of you know that uh, NGOs uh, ban it, the labels ban it. Uh, the potassium permanganate, which is used instead, uh, also is, uh, should be replaced. We know that from labels. So uh, we are here to uh, present a solution for that. Uh, to present uh, a possible way out of that and to get to uh, green chemistry and to environmental friendly products uh, which are not harmful uh, for the workers. So how does it work? Our product uh, ActiCell B is a bleaching system for indigo. You uh, apply it on the surface of the garment uh, by, by brush or by spray. Uh, then you uh, go to, through a heating step in an oven or in a tumbler. Uh, there the reaction takes place, so you can make sure that the reaction starts when you want it and the reaction is self-terminating. And after that you wash it, clean up what you normally do after bleaching and then you get to uh, use them. The product is DOCS 4.0 certified and the application is like a PP solution with 50 to 100 grams uh, per gene. How does it look like? Um, as we are a research company, we uh, don't have the sophistic uh, machinery to make nice genes, but what we can show you uh, are the effects what you can create. Uh, so it works on different fiber types, so you can uh, apply it on 100% cotton fabrics, you can apply it on stretch, and you also can apply it uh, on blends with other fibers like tensile uh, or viscose. Um, you can uh, bleach different uh, dyeing procedures. You can bleach uh, indigo, you, you can bleach the sulfur, you can bleach sulfur top, sulfur bottom. So everything what you did before with the potassium permanganate uh, is possible. And you also can use the stripping procedure that you normally use. So you can use the laser and you can also use uh, the hand thumb. So what are the product requirements? What do we offer with this product? We have a product which is environmental friendly, so it does not contain any heavy metals, it does not contain any halogens like chlorine, it does not con uh, contain phosphates, which is not good for the environment, it does not contain sulfates, which is also not good for the environment, Sulfates would destroy uh, the, the cotton and would lead to, to tear strength loss. And there are also no peroxides or organic peroxides or monoperoxides containing. And it's also safe to apply for the workers. For example, we are not spraying any enzymes. Uh, new design creations uh, are possible and also the design creations what you are used to uh, uh, are possible. Uh, you can use the existing machinery, you don't need to buy anything, you don't need to change anything, you just use it instead of the potassium permanganate. It's sprayable and it's a stable product, so you can store it for some time. And there is also no damage to the uh, elastic fibers. We offer it to a competitive price. We know that the bleach is very cheap and that uh, you who is applying it, you need a product that is also cheap, that you can uh, sell also your genes and yeah, we also got it uh, got certified, I mentioned it already. So I'm at the end of my very short presentation. Um, afterwards at 12 o'clock I will give a longer presentation about uh, our company, what we are doing. Uh, I will give an overview about uh, cellulose chemistry, how, uh, uh, how you can transfer it uh, into the industry 
and uh, we are open for collaborations and partnerships uh, in Bangladesh and all over the world. Thank you for your attention.